What's up guys, Kerba back with another rebuild, but this one's a little different. Um, we're going to be working on a rebuild with the Cowboys, but as we all know, Russell Wilson has been a little bit unsatisfied with his life with the Seahawks lately, so um, I thought it would be fun to switch. <clears throat> Russell Wilson and Dak Prescott traded them straight up, um, so Dak is now in the Seahawks. Russ is on the Cowboys, so he's now with Zeke, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, CeeDee Lamb, and an offensive line that he's been asking about for asking for in Seattle for a while. Um, and then the Cowboys' terrible defense, also. Um, so we're basically basically going to be tracking Russell Wilson's career with the Cowboys and Dak Prescott's career with the Seahawks. So I'll show you what Russ looks like. He actually took Dak Prescott's number, number four. Um, I'm not sure what that's about, but maybe he wants to make number four look a lot better. And then we'll show you what Dak looks like in a uh, Seahawks uniform, um, if I can make it there. Seahawks, QB, Dak Prescott. He is wearing number 13. Um, so he's got superstar development. He's 28. Uh, Russ is 32, superstar X-Factor. Um, so yeah, we're going to be rebuilding this Cowboys team a little bit, but we're going to be focusing on uh, Dak and Russell's Russell Wilson's careers and how they fit into each team along the way. Um, so we'll jump into free agency. We'll sign some free agents, try to make some people look good with Dak, uh, or excuse me, Russell Wilson. Um, and then we'll sim the season and see how both of them did in their first season with their new teams. So I'll catch you guys at the end of free agency and right before the draft. All right, guys, so in free agency, we signed Jared Cook, tight end. We need some tight end help, so we got a speedster there. We brought Gerald McCoy back to the Cowboys, and we got Tyus Bowser on the team um, just to fill in some depth, and I'm a big fan of Tyus Bowser. He's a big linebacker, so we'll bring him in, see what he can do. Um, not as much cap room as you can see right there, two mil um, with Russell Wilson's contract and everything. All the big contracts we have on the Cowboys. Uh, wasn't able to make a lot of moves, but we made three that I think will help. And we'll jump into the draft. We, as always, have a realistic draft. Um, I can't remember the draft class in the next video, or I'll make sure to put it in the comments or in the description. But uh, we're picking number 10. It is a realistic draft, like I said. Gregory Rousseau just went. That's who I was kind of hoping to pick. Um, we could take Kyle Pitts, but I did that in my last video. So I want to try and stay away from Kyle Pitts right now. If we get some O-line help, um, really need some corner and some safety help, though. So I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about Caleb Farley or Patrick Sertain Jr. I think I'm going to go with Patrick Sertain. Uh, yeah, let's go with Patrick Sertain. So he's 75, hidden development. Um, going to really help that Cowboys weak secondary. So we'll send to the next pick. Um, good pick there. Try and grab. If there is a good young tight end, like Pat Fryermuth, I might pick. Or even Brevin Jordan. Fryermuth is a little fast or taller. I actually might go with Fryermuth. I'm Fryermuth, Fryermuth. I've never picked him, so we're going to go with him. 75 overall, normal development. So we've got two 75 overalls in our first two picks. So good start to the draft. That'll give uh, Russell Wilson some new... Um, a new weapon along with our guy uh, Jared Cook so we'll rock Jared Cook we do need a center but I'm not sure if I like anyone that's available Radon's is okay but a 6-6 center would be kind of overkill I feel like um, Patty Fisher could work we really need to shore up this defense so I kind of like Patty Fisher but he's not projection going to the fifth so we'll wait um we do need some ends six seven here let's just go for it uh joshua kando six seven hidden development with 83 speed so look out for that he could be a rising star right there in the third round we can see what he does for us um and i think renny gregory there so let's see if um, Patty Fisher is still available. He is. We're going to take him. Get some linebacker depth. He's 81 speed, 6'3", 246. So a good linebacker there. 
Um, and next, oh, we don't pick until the seventh round. We'll see who's available. I was going to take Tylen Wallace just because, but he should be taken by then. Yeah, he's gone. So Dante Stills isn't bad. We actually could use a D-tackle for the Cowboys here. Uh, let's go with Dante Stills. All right, so that's our lowest overall, 63. Um, pretty good draft. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, we'll adjust the roster. Um, I'll show you guys what the start of season roster is going to look like, what the start of season roster for the Seahawks will look like. And then we'll send the first season for both teams and see, uh, see how each team does. So I'll catch you at the beginning of the regular season of the 2021 season. All right, so we're at the beginning of the 2021 season. Let's look at the Cowboys roster. I made some, a few moves, um, so we'll check it out. We got Russ, obviously, at quarterback. Zeke and Tony Pollard. Mari Cooper, CD Lamb, Michael Gallup. Um, let's move Firemuth up to second string tight end. We got our regular Cowboys O-line. Um, so one changes I did make is Let's move Sertain to their second stringer. I signed Joe Hayden, made him a free safety, and then moved Donovan Wilson over to Strong. So that should help with our uh, secondary. We'll move Kando, a recent draft pick, up to second string left end. And then specialist CD Lamb there. I think I want to make Trayvon Diggs the slot. Um, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, that's the team. Let's check out the Seahawks team, see what uh, the Seahawks did in the draft and in free agency, and then we'll send this first season. So uh, they obviously have Dak, Chris Carson, Rashad Penny, nothing different there, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, they signed T.Y., Will Disley, they got a rookie left tackle. O-line is still not good, so they didn't get um, Russell Wilson's message of wanting a better O-line. Uh, Wagner and Kirksey, our middle linebacker, TJ Wright, KJ Wright, Trey Flowers, uh, DJ Reed. So not a great team, but uh, they do have some very solid pieces. So we'll see what they do this season. We'll see what the Cowboys do this season, and we'll compare Russ's stats and Dak's stats and just see uh, see who does better and see if either make the playoffs. They, they both should make the playoffs, but we'll see. These Madden sims are a little wonky sometimes, so we'll check it out. But I'll catch you guys at the end of season one or the 2021 season um and we'll go from there all right guys so it is the end of the 2021 season and the dallas cowboys went 13 and 3 13 and 3 uh so super impressive 6,000 offensive yards so you can see there russell wilson went off defensive yards are even pretty good top 10 so 39 touchdowns 4,000 yards 68 percent completion percentage and only eight interceptions zeke 1300 yards and we had Michael Gallup go for 1,000, Amari almost did, and CeeDee Lamb, 850, but also 10 touchdown catches, and then Jared Cook, 7 touchdown catches. Let's see what the rookie did. Firemouth, not much, 5 catches, 49 yards, um, but we'll be making room for him soon so that he can make a bigger difference. Zach Wilson, in his rookie season, wins MVP with the Patriots, so that's interesting. Russell Wilson, Offensive Player of the Year. Is Dak on here? Dak is not on here. Defense player of the year, offense rookie of the year, best QB, is Dak on here? No, not at all. And Russell Wilson wins that. Uh, best of line, Zach Martin, as always. Let's go check out Dak's stats for the season and the Seahawks' stats. And also see where they finish. Uh, let's see if they made the playoffs at all. So Dak, 3,200 yards, 23 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and 56% completion percentage. Not nearly as good as... Russ, uh, Chris Carson almost goes for a thousand. Will Disley is the leading receiver. Metcalf doesn't do much. Even Tyler Lockett doesn't do much. So that's surprising. Um, Wagner has a great season. KJ Wright with the most sacks on our team, and they only have three interceptions all season. Let's also check out um, Cowboys defensive stats. I think we missed that, and I want to see if Joe Hayden did anything. So Jalen Smith, Awuzie. Van Der Ash, Darian Thompson, Joe Hayden had one, and Trayvon Diggs. I want to see who led the team in sacks. Demarcus Lawrence. So, let's see if what the Seahawks record was and if they made the playoffs. Seahawks 
Seahawks went three and thirteen with Dak Prescott on the team. So that's insane. They lost eight in a row. Um, so the first season of this experiment, the Cowboys go thirteen and three, and the Seahawks go three and thirteen. So interesting. Um, we do have a first round bye, so we'll advance. And we're playing the Carolina Panthers. Um, we'll upgrade some players. So one player. And we'll sim this game and see what happens um, with the Cowboys. It's very surprising that they went 3-13. Uh, and, and wow, the Cowboys win that first game in the playoffs. 38-31, no defense in that game. Let's check it out. Check out the box score. Russ throws for four touchdowns. Teddy Bridgewater got sacked five times. Uh, CD Lamb has a good game. Sweet, okay. Uh, let's see where all these sacks came from. Marcus Lawrence, Jalen Smith, Patty Fisher, the rookie. Uh, Patty Fisher got a pick. Two rookies got interceptions there. Excuse me. Um, so we'll upgrade. These three players. Kando. Kando's already a 73. Let's check out his development. He went up four overall the one season. Kando, where is he? We don't know yet still. Uh, interesting. Okay. We'll check out at the end of the season. It should reveal itself. We'll sim again with the Jared Goff led Rams and the Seahawks are going to, the, or the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl and Russell Wilson's first season with the Cowboys. So very impressive playing the Bills and Josh Allen. We'll actually, let's jump into this game. Let me upgrade some players again. Let's jump into this game and watch some of it. Um, maybe even play a little bit of it and see what happens here. Love the fast load times. Look at that. That's so fast. All right, we're in the Super Bowl, and it looks like the Super Bowl is in Cowboy Stadium. A uh, little. That's pretty cool. Uh, Cowboys are kicking off. Bills. All right, let's sim. Who scored that touchdown? Uh, interception, Wuzier, Zeke scored. Let's sim to the end of the quarter. See what's going on. Let's sim to the end of the second quarter, too. Uh, real close game. The Cowboys are winning. Cowboys are winning again. Tied. 16-13. All right. All right, let's jump in here. See what this offense is all about with... Um, Russ on the team. I love those Bills unis. All right. We got Russ and number four looking good. We got Jared Cook, C.D. Lamb, Gallup. All these weapons out here. And he's going to go for a Cooper wide open. Oh, and he makes a one-handed catch over, I don't know who that was, Taron Johnson for the touchdown. So that's a little bit of the um, what the offense looks like with Russ on the team. We'll... Uh, Sim a little bit more to the next quarter. See what the Super Bowl is looking like. So, and now the Cowboys are just running away. Oh, but the Bills are coming back. Um, let's see. Cowboys score again. Jump at another possession. The Bills score. Make it close. Cowboys, it looks like they're going to pull it off. Yes, the Cowboys win the Super Bowl in... Russell Wilson's first season with the team, which is really, really cool. Um, a stacked team like the Cowboys it looks like all they needed was Russ. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy, just Russell Wilson on their team. And then uh, the Seahawks actually go 3-13 and with Dak Prescott on their team, under the franchise tag also. So we'll see if they even re-sign him. Um, but yeah, super cool. First season, Russ wins. Throws for 300 yards. Um, but we're not going to stop it there. We're going to send a couple more seasons, see if the Seahawks can do anything with Dak, um, and see if Russell Wilson and the Cowboys can repeat. So we'll um, send the offseason, and I'll catch you guys up. I'll catch up with you guys at the beginning of the 2022 season and show you what the roster is looking like. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're at the start of the 2022 season. Let's look at this Cowboys roster. Uh, made a few moves. No big free agent signings. Um, let's move Fryermuth down. We'll make Fryermuth the starting tight end. Um, and then we've got 
Russell Wilson, Coop, C.D. Lamb, all the returning offensive players from last year. Defense doesn't look too different. D tackles a little weak. Jalen Smith is now an X factor, and we drafted a stud rookie, Shaq Hewitt, 6'3, 203. 86 speed, not crazy. Zone coverage, not crazy. But uh, he's a pretty good all around, so excited about him. And in the slot, we've got CeeDee Lamb again. That's where he kind of thrives. And then Trayvon Diggs in, as our slot corner. And let's check out the Seahawks roster, see if they kept um, Dak, because he was only on a franchise tag. So let's see. Dak is still on their team. Looks like they signed him long term. Um, he's not regressing yet. Let's see if they got this team any better at all. Deontay Harris is a superstar. That's odd. Um, offensive line is looking a little bit better. They're looking to protect Dak now. Um, defense is looking okay. They signed Jair Alexander. So we could see the Seahawks um, make a run for the playoffs again. So we'll sim this second season. We'll see um, if the Cowboys can try and make a run for a repeat and see if the Seahawks can even make the playoffs. Um, so we'll catch up at the end of the season and check out the stats. All right, so we're at the end of the 2022 season. Uh, Cowboys have another first round by, win the division again, two years in a row, go 10 and six, a little bit worse than last year. Um, Russ balls out again, throws 38 touchdowns. Zeke balls out, CB Lamb with a thousand yards, Cooper almost gets it. Michael Gallup, 11 touchdowns, and then Frymouth balls out also. Let's also see what our uh, defense is looking like. Demarcus Lawrence with nine sacks, nothing new there. Patty Fisher, the second year pro, coming out and balling out. Um, yeah, looking good. Let's check out our star rookie. Uh, see what he did. Shaq Hewitt had 73 tackles, two tackles for loss, three deflections. No force fumble. So he didn't do a whole lot. Um, but he's 79 and he's a superstar X Factor. We drafted a superstar X Factor. Wow. I haven't seen that very often. Um, acrobat. I don't like Acrobat. Uh, let's do something else. Deep out zone KO. And he's a superstar X Factor. Wow. Um, let's see where we drafted him. First round, 32. So we drafted him 32nd overall. He's an X Factor. Uh, Zach Wilson wins the MVP in his second year. He's already a 92 overall. Pretty impressive. Baker is on the Giants now. Um, let's see if anyone from the Cowboys or Seahawks, of course. Uh, Zach Martin won. So nothing new there. Let's check out the Seahawks stats and then also check out what they ended up as their record and if they made the playoffs. So Dak had a lot better of a season. Chris Carson goes for a thousand. Still no thousand yard receiver for them, but four people over seven hundred, so it's pretty nice. Um, Bobby Wagner balled out. Dante Fowler, Jordan Brooks, Jair Alexander. All right, so let's check out um, where the Seahawks are and what the playoff picture is looking like. Let's see. No Seahawks in the playoffs again. So Cowboys got the only buy at ten and six. Got the only buy. And no Seahawks. So let's see what their record was. See if they got any better. NFC West. 7-9. and nine. So they got better. Um, they're getting there. But the Cowboys, again, are in the playoffs. We'll advance. See who we're playing. And uh, so we're playing the Bucks. We'll sim this game. And see if we can make another run at the Super Bowl. So we lost, lost 42 to 28 to the Bucks. So year two of this um, experiment is over. Russell Wilson won the Super Bowl in the first year, second year lost in the divisional round. Seahawks still haven't even made the playoffs. Um, so I'll sim all the way through and I'll just catch you guys at the end of the third season. Um, we'll show you what the roster's looking like at the end of the season, the stats and everything. Um, just sim all the way through and see what we're looking like there. So I'll catch you guys at the end of season three. All right, it is the end of season three. Uh, Jalen Smith and Awuzie both got new um, abilities unlocked. Let's see where we're at. We earn another first round buy. So three years of Russell Wilson, three first round buys. Um, the Seahawks made it in as a third seed. So let's take a look at our roster, see what we're looking like. 93 offense right now. 
Russ still hasn't started um, regressing too much. He's a 95, so he kind of stayed around where he was. Three receivers over 90 overall. Um, Fryermuth is now a star development. Um, Shaq Hewitt's balling out. Reggie Robinson, Sertain, Trayvon Diggs. Um, Kando is looking good. So this team is looking better and better um, each year. So let's go over to our stats. Again, we're 12 and 4, second in offensive yards. Russell Wilson balling out 4,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, 1,500 rushing yards for Zeke, two 1,000 yard receivers this year. CeeDee Lamb doesn't quite make it, but he has eight touchdowns, so I can't imagine he'll complain about that too much. Uh, sacks, Demarcus Lawrence with nine, Jalen Smith with six. Vander Esch leads the team in interceptions. Kando, Patty Fisher, Shaq Hewitt. A lot of these young guys stepping up and making some impact. Um, let's look at the NFC Awards, see if anyone won anything. So the Seahawks drafted a stud rookie. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, anyone else? Zach Martin again, always. And that's about it. Let's look at, um, oh, stats. Let's look at the Seahawks stats, see what they did. Because they earned themselves a third three seed so they must have done something Dak only threw three interceptions so it looks like they're protecting him a lot better um still yards aren't out there but that's okay dk metcalf still no 1000 yard receiver but two 900 yard receivers um let's see how their defense is doing bobby wagner with six interceptions sheesh um so in the first round the seahawks are going to be playing Let's look at that, the Giants. So we'll see if they um, if they win and see who they play in the next round. So we're playing the Bucks. They beat us last year, so we're looking for some revenge. Um, let's see if the Seahawks won. And they did. They're playing the Saints. So potentially if, if the Cowboys win and the Seahawks win, we could see a Russell Wilson versus Dak Prescott. Um, showdown. So we'll advance, see if we win, and see if the Seahawks won. We lost 42 to 31. Looks like the Bucks are our kryptonite for some reason. Um, but we'll look. The Seahawks won, so we'll see. Uh, see if they can um, beat the Bucks, and they did. The Seahawks are going to the Super Bowl. Um, so in year one, the Cowboys win over Russ. Year two, uh, Seahawks still make the playoffs. Cowboys lose in the second round. And now year three, the Seahawks are playing the Browns in the Super Bowl. So let's uh, advance and see. The Seahawks lost. They got blown out. Let's take a look at that uh, box score. Uh, postseason Seahawks. That's all. That's pretty cool. So they won against the Giants, beat the Saints, beat the Bucks, and then lost to the Browns in the Super Bowl. Lost to Manu Sanchez. Uh, Dak only threw for 127 yards. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay. So I think we're going to send one more year, um, seeing that the Seahawks made it, uh, won the Super Bowl in year one have been good, um, or the Cowboys, sorry, the Seahawks are getting better, we'll see if we can um, produce a showdown in the playoffs between the Seahawks and Cowboys in one more season, um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys up at the end of next season to see what the player picture is looking like and see where both teams are stand, see you guys there. Alright, so in the final year of this uh, QB swap or rebuild, whatever you want to call it, the Cowboys make the playoffs again, win the division again. Don't make it to the, um, or don't get a first round bye, um, which is which they've grown accustomed to. So let's look at the roster. Um, CD Lamb did leave. Um, I left the computer up to um, signing people, re signing people, and they didn't re sign him. So that kind of sucks. Um, but we still won the division, made the playoffs. That's the team. Let's check out our stats. Still 92 overall offense. 13th in offensive yards, so our offensive production is dropping a little bit. Our backup running back, Darius DeBose, 10 rushing touchdowns. Um, Coop is the only 1,000-yard receiver. Farmouth with 8 
receiving touchdowns. Van Der Esch the team in tackles. Kendo with eight sacks. Ouzier with four interceptions leads the team. Shaq Hewitt, um, the superstar X Factor safety, has some interceptions. And let's look at. Okay, offense play of the year for the NFC is Russell Wilson. He wins best QB also. And let's see if Dak was on that list. Seahawks, Seahawks. No. Okay, uh, let's check out Seahawks stats and see if they made the playoffs. See if we can um, see if we can have a showdown. Um, not too crazy from Dak. Thousand yard season from Chris Carson, Deontay Harris. A uh, thousand yard season with nine touchdowns, um, five six one seventy, and he's got superstar development. Development that's so interesting. Um, so let's check out um, the Seahawks record and see if they made the playoffs. So I always forget about this new playoff bracket. Um, they did not make the playoffs. They did not make the playoffs. We'll check out their record. See where they stand. NFC West went six and ten. So it looks like that lone playoff appearance with the three seed was a fluke. Um, but the Cowboys win 28-25 over the Giants, who seem to always be in the playoffs and seem to be really good in my rebuilds. Um, we'll play against the Saints, sim that, see where we stand. And we lost. So 42 to 30 in the divisional round. Um, so that will be it for this um, rebuild, this quarterback swap. We'll kind of look at um, Russ's stats with the Cowboys since he's joined. He's 36 and he's still 96 overall, 93 because of morale. He's at 96. Um, in his four seasons with the Cowboys, he never threw under 35 touchdowns. Um, never threw under 4,000 yards. Um, kept his interceptions down. He, I mean, he just balled out really. Um, in 2023, he ran, he ran in six touchdowns. Um, so it really looks like the Cowboys obviously won trading uh, Dak Prescott to the Seahawks for Russ. Won a Super Bowl in their first year, and they've been in the playoffs every year since. Um, so, yeah, something cool, something to think about. Um, but that's it for this rebuild. Let me know what you guys um would like to see in the next one. Thanks.